daisy update 121 just hit experimental servers and there has been a lot of things added fixed and changed so let's go through them all if you like this video or any other videos i make consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel it really does help out <laughs> Starting off with everything that has been added into the game. The crossbow and the different color variants of it have been added. Bolts and improvised bolts have been added. They've added a sword. A mace. Chainmail, chainmail leggings, chainmail coif, Norse helm, chest plate, and medieval boot. They've also added wool gloves with fingerless and color variants. They've added feathers. They've added game hints in the loading screen. They've added new game hints. Thrown items and moving vehicles now move smoother on high refresh rate devices. They've added status icon for mild leg injuries. They've added that UI brightness can be adjusted in the settings. And the character now spawns with items pre-assigned to the quick bar. So some decent stuff added in that update. Now let's go through everything fixed. They fixed further exploits to looking through walls. They fixed an exploit to glitch through walls. It was possible to execute a stealth kill even if there was an obstacle between the player and the target. Several explosions were missing their tail sounds. The camera would move sharply when a vehicle turns opposite to the mouse joystick movement. The camera would glitch when swimming with a broken leg. The action to refill a partially filled gasoline canister would appear at water sources. The scout rifle reload sounds would echo. Items ruined while in a container carried in hands would float on the air. Fixed issues with several structures. It's very difficult to reach the open trunk action on the Ogla 02 wreck. Ruined handcuffs would not free the handcuffed player. Arming and disarming damaged remote detonation units would reset the health of the explosive and detonator. Links between remote detonators and explosives were not persistent. The character would collide with items dropped from a thrown fireplace. Interrupting of building by another player could result in desync. On the lowest FOV settings, the camera would zoom out instead of in when focusing the view. Items inside the vehicle cargo were not drying or changing their temperatures. Exhaling sound was missing when exiting ADS while holding breath. The player could fall to their death while reconnecting while on a high ladder. Infected could walk through specific base building objects. Fireballs did not have accessible cargo space when attached to the truck. Aiming to attach wooden sticks to an improvised shelter could play non-functional selection arrows. Weight of the heat pack was irrationally high. It was not possible to purify water in the cauldron. It was possible to purify an empty container. Placing a tent inside a bigger tent could cause inventory management problems. Thermometer was not displaying realistic temperatures in cases of sickness. The character could get stuck when changing stances while dropping an item. Player could desync and fall through the map by going prone or being attacked by infected. Accessing ladders from crouch position could offset the character's collision. The PU scope reticle would glow slightly at night. Heat comfort was not handled properly after reconnecting on elevated positions in buildings. The tripwire could not be moved in the inventory in ruined state. Advanced placement did not work as intended in the small factory building. Some clothes, accessories, tools and car parks could not be shot through. A damaged battery could lose quantity when being swapped. 
A square shape was present when looking through the iron sights of the 4x ACOG optic. UI tabs were resized when changing sliders in the settings. The control when looking through binoculars and certain scopes in the hands was very floaty. Desync when reconnecting near a car or entering a running car's network bubble could result in a client showing dull state of the car. Aiming while prone would not take the terrain surface into account normally. The state of weapons would not reflect properly when dropped on the ground. Texture for bloody hands was darker on Survivor Model 11. The action to wash hands was not available when gloves are put over the bloody hands. Infected could walk through rocks. Infected could walk through piles of wooden planks. The MVG head strap could be dropped on the ground upon reconnect. Vehicle startup sounds were not synchronized with the animation. Free look could only turn the camera by 90 degrees. Bird and cricket ambient sounds would cut instantly when a player shoots within 500 meters. Bird and cricket ambient sounds would not react to explosion sounds. Stop breaking your vehicle with control and S was not working as intended. The player could get stuck in the load in queue at position zero while being kicked off the server. Fix the bug that could transform vehicles into unusual shapes. Fix an issue where players with poor network connection could influence the connections of other players. Fix several cases of items falling through the map when being thrown. Reigniting a fireplace would not increase its heat again. So that is a ton of fixes that is coming in with this update. There's a lot of fixes there that a lot of people have actually been complaining about, like falling through the map, zombies not working well, a load of different exploits and wall glitches seem to be fixed as well, which I know was a big problem on console. There's a lot of good fixes in there, and it's going to be interesting to see if they all work well. So now let's go through everything changed. They reworked falling damage impact depending on height. They removed the battle eye license agreement prompt in game. This is for PC only. Tweak the sounds of doors with a valve lock. Change the horn sound on the M3S truck. Increase the audibility of explosions. Allowed eye gear to spawn on infected. Login timers are now also displaying in minutes and hours. Zoom functionality is no longer reduced during fast movement in crouch or prone. Applied minor visual tweaks to the great helm. Reduced the weight of plastic explosives by 60%. Tweaked impact sounds from metallic objects depending on targeted surface. Ripened horticulture plants now stay for twice as long before they start to decay. Increase the minimum amount of quick slot available to the player. Reduce the amount of additional quick slots given by a certain gear. Interactions with a power generator now refresh the lifetime of it and all items connected to it. Remove the loading text on the login timer. Washing hands is now a continuous action. Tweak the width of all tire track. Change the animation for pill consumption. Improve the visuals of the PSO1, PSO11 and P187L scopes. Reduce the reflections of the glass scopes. Improvised fishing rod can now be dismantled. Adjusted position slash rotation of individual weapons when carried on the shoulder. Distant lights are much dimmer. Transition from the close-up light to the distance is much smoother. Slightly increased the damage the Sarka 120 takes from impacts. The drawing rate of items has been adjusted correctly re reflected on the location and outside influences. Increased the duration of the ringing action. Adjusted inventory lighting to make item previews more readable and more in the style of UI. So that is a lot of good changes again. Uh, some stuff there that has needed been changed for a while that now seems to be uh, changed which is always great. They have done some changes to Cherners and Livonia. They have updated the Chernogorsk football field and they have added the flag of the winners of the Lights Out event on Livonia. Now there is a lot of stuff there for servers, launchers, modding and all that type of stuff. I don't know much about the DayZ so I'm just going to not go through that as I don't want to get any information wrong. But in general, there is a lot of good stuff there. Again, more major fixes, a lot of stuff that a lot of people have been complaining about. We're going to have to see, obviously, how it works in Experimental, but so far, this is looking uh, very good. And yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like and get on and play it later today. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section down below as usual. And until the next one, I shall catch you guys then. So peace out for now.